Hello, welcome to Fondue Feast. My name is Jasmine and I'll be your waitress this evening. Have you ever been here before? Well, welcome. Well, as our name suggests, we serve nothing but fondue here. Yes, we have a selection of cheese fondues and chocolate fondues. So I'll bring the menus out in just a few moments. But first, why don't we start you off with a drink? Sure. So we have a number of sodas. Mm -hmm. We have Coke products. We also have some hard ciders, beers, and wines. And we have some signature cocktails. Sure. I'll bring out the menu of our cocktails. Be right back. So we have three cocktails this evening. Our first is a lemon drop. This has lemon juice and sugar. It's mixed with champagne and vodka. Yes, it's rather tart. We also have a pomegranate sparkler. This is pomegranate juice, cranberry juice, and a sweet white wine called Moscato Diossi. It's actually a perfect balance between sweet and tart. Yeah, it's kind of right in the middle. So our sweetest drink is our chocolatini. Our tartest drink is our lemon drop. And then our pomegranate goes somewhere in the middle. Sure, you'd like the pomegranate sparkler? Great. No, I agree. The chocolatini sounds really good, but if you're planning on having chocolate fondue later, I would wait as well. Wonderful. Well, I'll be right out with your sparkler. Yep, just sit back and relax. Okay. Okay, so here's your drink. I hope you enjoy it. So I've also taken the liberty of bringing out our cheese fondue menu. So as you can see, we have three specials today, but we also have a variety of other cheese fondues if none of these are interesting to you. Okay, so first, just to let you know, all of our fondues have a base and you can choose what base it is. We can use white wine, we can use milk, or we can use vegetable broth. I recommend the milk because um, it gives it more of a creamy texture. Yes, it pairs really well with the cheeses. Wonderful. So let me tell you a little bit about our specials today. On our menu, we always have the classic, which is a Gruyere cheese, cheddar cheese, and we also infuse it with garlic. Yes, so we take a garlic clove and we rub it on the inside of the fondue pot and then we chop up garlic thinly and we put it in the cheese as well. Yes, we use a sharp cheddar. So this has a sharp taste, a garlicky taste. Mm -hmm. We also have our Quattro Formaggio this one is more mild. We use some soft, mild cheeses, including mozzarella, fontina, asiago, and just a little bit of gruyere. And finally, we have our Mexican Fiesta. In this, we have cheddar, Monterey Jack, asiago, and queso. I know, it's a tough choice. They all sound really good. My favorite is the Mexican Fiesta. Yes, it just has the classic flavors of what you would find in a quesadilla or in a taco. It just, mm, it's so good. Highly recommended. You'll go with that one? Great. Well, I'll go ahead and get your cheeses and we'll start making your fondue. Be right back. Okay, 
Okay, so first we start off with some butter. Yes, we use about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. This will make your fondue nice and creamy and rich. And I'll just give this butter a stir. And we'll just take a few minutes for it to melt. So you can see it's starting to melt. Just a few more minutes and we'll be able to add the milk. I know, doesn't it smell really good? Mm -hmm. I know working here, I always work up an appetite. <laughs> yes, absolutely. It smells divine in here. Okay, so now we're going to put in your milk. And we'll just stir that around and we'll give it a few minutes to get warm. It's getting there. Just give it a few more minutes. I'll turn it up just a little higher. Okay, and now I'll sprinkle in the cheeses. Give it a stir and slowly this cheese will start melting. Just put in a little bit more. We want it nice and thick and creamy. good. So just give me a moment. I will get your dippings. Um, but first I just want to put this guard here. Mm -hmm. So this is what you can use to grab your dippings. So what you do is you swirl them around in the cheese and then you put it on your plate and use the fork to take the dipping off of. Yes. Okay. You've done this before. Great. <laughs> It's just more hygienic if you eat from the fork mm -hmm, versus the fondue fork. Yes, yeah, so the fondue fork is just for dipping. Great. So I'll go ahead and get your dippings now. Okay. So we have a selection of dippings for you. We have green apple and some pieces of bread. It's a hearty multi-grain bread. It pairs really nicely with the cheese. And we also have a selection of vegetables including cherry tomatoes. Yes, they're heirloom. Mm -hmm. We also have celery and carrots. Now the dippings are unlimited here so if at any point you would like more just let me know. Okay, well enjoy.
Did you enjoy your fondue? Excellent. Well, I'll take this away then, and I'll bring you a dessert menu. In the meantime, would you like some coffee or some tea? Coffee? Great. I'll go grab that for you. Here's your coffee. Yep, you enjoy that, and I'll come back with the dessert menu in just a few moments. Okay, are you ready to see our chocolate fondue menu? It's the best part of any fondue party. <laughs> so we have three specials today. Our first special is our PB and C. It has peanut butter and your choice of chocolate. We have milk chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. Our second is called Hugs and Kisses. Along with semi-sweet chocolate chips, we actually have 10 Hershey's Kisses that are hot cocoa flavored. Yes, it gives the fondue a nice, rich, chocolatey taste. It's like you're dipping your food into hot cocoa. It's very good. And then finally, we have our s'mores. This has milk chocolate, graham cracker crumbs, and marshmallow cream. So which one would you like? The hugs and kisses? Sure. All right, I'll go get a clean fondue pot for you and we'll get started. So as before, we'll melt some butter. We have a little less butter in this one, about a tablespoon. Just make sure it's all melted before we add in the milk. Okay, and now I'll pour in the milk. So we'll start off with our semi-sweet chocolate chips. And we'll give it a stir. It'll take just a few minutes for it to melt. We'll want to be patient and do this slowly. Okay, so now that the chocolate chips are nearly all melted, we can start adding in the Hershey's Kisses. So as I said, we'll have 10 Hershey's Kisses, and we'll just stir that around and give it a few moments to melt. As you can see, it's getting really chocolatey. As I said, this one is 
kind of like drinking hot cocoa, so it's a little bit thinner than some of our other fondues, but it's really good. Yeah. You may be tempted to drink it at the end if you have any left. No judgment here. It's your fondue. Okay, that's melting nicely. It's becoming nice and smooth. So make sure that you have your fondue fork. And I'll go ahead and get your dippings. So first, we have a variety of fruits. We have bananas, strawberries, green apple, and grapes. And for a special treat, we have cream puffs and chocolate eclairs. I thought you would like that. Okay, so this is just about melted. Um, do you need anything else? Okay, and just remember, if you need more dippings, just let me know. They are unlimited. Okay, enjoy. Did you enjoy your chocolate fondue? Wonderful. Would you like any more coffee? Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed your meal today at Fondue Feast. I hope that you come back soon. We're always changing out our menu, coming up with new cheese and chocolate combinations. 
excellent. Well, you have a wonderful night.